Memorial Day. <coughs> Memorial Day. Kyle, we'll start the post office on our way into town. Did you put on sunblock? Grandma asked. Yes, Grandma, I did. He answered. It was only ten o'clock, but the sun felt hot on his back. It was the last Saturday in May, and Kyle was ready for summer. His grandparents' small town was so different from the city. Kyle loved the old buildings here. He was glad when the, his parents told him he would be spending a long Memorial Day holiday weekend here with his grandmother. The short walk to the post office took longer than Kyle was accepted. It seemed like everyone in this town knew each other. You couldn't walk past someone without saying hello or swapping news. See you at the parade, people said with a friendly wave. This was the first Kyle and Kyle had heard about the parade. What parade? He asked Grandma. The Memorial Day Parade, of course. This is Memorial Day weekend, you know, she said. Kyle knew his three-day weekend was special. The town could open this weekend, but he didn't know there would be a parade. You have a parade for the beginning of summer? No, actually, his grandma as she dropped a few letters in the mailbox. Haven't you ever been to a Memorial Day parade? she asked. Kale shook his head. There were many parades in the big city where he lived with his parents, but they never went to them. His parents usually wa worked on holidays. He saw a Thanksgiving Day parade on television once. He hoped there would be big balloons at this parade, too. Maybe he would meet other kids there. Memorial Day means more than the start of summer fun, Grandma explained. It is time to remember, she stopped without finishing her sentence. Come, I'll show you. We'll go to the cemetery. Grandma turned and walked briskly in the opposite direction. Where, we're going where? Kyle asked, quick, quickening his place, pace to keep up with his grandmother. Kyle had never set foot on the cemetery before. He imagined a creepy place, but the town said tomorrow wasn't at all creepy. Kyle thought it was actually very nice, especially with all the flowers and flags. As they walked, Kyle noticed that other people were there. He saw young families standing by handing a hand stones and a woman with grandmother's age. He saw a soldier in uniform, then he saw a troop of scouts had gathered at the far end of the cemetery. <clears throat> what are they doing? He asked Grandma. Then he realized that they were on the ones putting out the flags. The flags marked the graves of those who served all in all branches of our armed force, explained Grandma. It's, it's part of our memorial day tradition of all our soldiers buried here to remember them. Kyle remembered his teacher walking and uh, talking about the revolutionary war. Revolutionary war. That was a long time ago. He knew that the United States has fought many wars since then. Was there always a Memorial Day? He asked Grandma. At first, it was called Decoration Day, you know. Decoration can mean a medal of honor or a bravely in battle, Grandma continued. They had stopped in front of a grave with a flag next to it, and Kale read the inscription. These shoulders were only 19 years old, Grandma. That's my cousin Ken's age, Kyle suddenly felt sad. His grandmother noticed his mood changed. Yes, it can be a solemn, solemn occasion for many people, she said. As they walked back to the house, Grandma told him that many countries have different days set aside to honor lost soldiers. In England, it's called Poppy Day, Grandma explained. Poppies are red flowers that became a symbol of Memorial Day here. Back at the house, Kale used the internet to discover more about Memorial Day. Here is General John A. Logan's Memorial Day Autumn. 
made in 1868, three years after the end of the Civil War. This was the official beginning of the Memorial Day tradition in America. It became a federal holiday in 1971. By the morning of the parade, Kyle felt like a Memorial Day expert. Did you know they had have a Memorial Day in Australia too? Kyle said as he dug into the pancakes his grandma had make, made for breakfast. There is called Anzac Day. Anzac stands for Australian and New Zealand New Zealand Army Crop, he explained. Kyle and his grandmother had found a shady spot to watch the parade. You can watch the parade with me, or you can ride on that old fire truck and be in it, his grandmother said. Wow, thanks, Grandma, Kyle said as he ran toward the truck. Kyle knew his was a some occasion, but parades were for fun too.